All right, we are celebrating National Cocktail Day on Sunday, so we're celebrating a little early right, right now. Ye uh, David's going to prepare. If I have time, I make make one too. If not, I'll tell you guys how to make it. But you're going to make something that I've never heard of. It's called a. It's called a Sazerac. Sazerac reminds so, me of Zanarain. <laughs> I don't know. So, well, it's it is it is it is from Louisiana, right? Oh, perfect. Just like Zanarain. So awesome. a Sazerac is a New Orleans take or spin on an old fashioned, right? Okay. So instead of like instead of we kind of went a little bit ahead of ourselves. So what you typically want to do is you want to wash oh, the glass with absinthe first. Here, I'll uh, take my ice Yeah, out. cool. I'll do the same thing, right? There you so go. you hold that there. You just pour it ever so slightly. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to let you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's We're, showing I'm, I'm me. Showing you how so to just do like it. a little drop. Nope, oh. that's a lot. <laughs> Woo, girl, you're about to get lit. Hold on, hold on. I'll share some of these. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, All right, so we wash the glass. So you just do like this, right? Okay. So you want to coat the glass. I spilled a little bit. That's fine. Like then, as high up as you can. Yeah. Spilling. You don't have to get really crazy with it. Just wash it out. And look, there's that excess. It goes yeah. in your mouth. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Woo. When's the last time you had absent? <laughs> exactly. I don't know if I've ever had it. Is it licorice <laughs> It is very licorice -y. A little right. bit of the wormwood, too. So, all right. So the next thing is, is we have a Peychaud's Bitters. Peychaud's Bitters is very, very unique to Louisiana and New Orleans, kind of specifically. You have the Aganostra Bitters that you would typically find in, a, in an old fashion. I'll take but your But this word time, for we're going to do the Peychaud's Bitters. So just two dashes. Boop. There you go. Okay. Two dashes right there. You get yours. Oh. Boop. Oh, boop. That's that fine. Enough? Give one. Oh, Bam. Perfect. Like there you okay. go. All right. The so next wait, thing. why the absinthe around the cup, though? Did because you say that's that? a, because that's what'll add the flavor to it, right? So that's oh. what. So that's, that kind of what makes it different. That's what makes it way different, right? So like, so now we're gonna right. do like the normal, like you would do with your old fashioned. So we're gonna do two ounces. Okay. So this is one and a half ounce, the big side. This side's one ounce. Okay. So we're just gonna do. Look at me. I'm like nervous, like the bartenders. You oh, see. Oh, they always shake. I know. I know. Maybe I'm that's like just part too. of it. Maybe it is. I know you're not nervous, so. I know. All right, so there you go. So that's two right. ounces for me. You do two ounces. Okay, so we'll do the one and a half. Is this Woodford Reserve? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My husband loves this. Yeah, this is uh, this is all for my own personal bar. Nice. Yeah. That's the Daryl, our guitar player, is really good into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, Daryl. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Uh, all right, so then the, then the last thing that we're really going to do is we're going to add some simple syrup. So I made my own simple syrup. Oh, it's syrup. not honey. No, it's not honey. Just I just use a little there. honey bottle, That's right? That's a good so, idea, though, for the squeeze. Yeah, That's so you want to do like, you want to do just like, like about a half ounce. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to hook you up. So there you go, it's half ounce Half there. water, half sugar. That's right. Oiled. Half water, half okay. sugar. You heat it up, it'll... It'll get all nice and cool. So there we go. So the next thing you do, grab your all right. your lemon. You're gonna just stir it around in there. Stir. Yeah, get it in the there. Lemon. Get it in there. Skin. Yeah, lemon get rind. It in there. Yep. Now drop it in there. Okay. And give it a little like this. Give it just a little bit of that. I love the ball ice. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. So yeah, so the big ice cube like that actually has has like some importance to it, right? So like little ice cubes, what they tend to do is they tend to melt really, really quickly. So right. it waters Dilute down your, your yeah, your beverage even faster than you would want it to. So okay. if you have like this, it's gonna water it down like slower, but keep it colder longer. Interesting. Does that make sense? He used to be a bartender, so he's teaching me a lot. Yeah, that was the old days. <laughs> All right, so this, this is the Sazerac. If you go to New Orleans, if you go to okay. any bar that's worth its salt and you ask for a Sazerac, this is what you're going to get. Are you ready for it? Cheers. Cheers. Do we sip it slowly? or? You, yes, this is absolutely <laughs> okay. a slow sip and drink. You okay. don't want to just smash this go one to the it. head. Mm. That's very smooth. Yeah. All those flavors together, very yeah. nice. Because yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind whiskey or bourbon, but it's not like my favorite right, thing. But that's nice. Yeah, and with the Sazerac, like guys, if you do this at home, you can switch out with the bourbon with rye if you want to. Okay. Like that totally is fine. I mean, you can even put like an Irish whiskey if you really feel like it's okay. fine. Okay. And but then I was gonna make an espresso martini, but we ran out of time. So uh, one ounce of vodka, one ounce of Kahlua, one ounce of Bailey's chilled espresso, and if you want a little simple syrup, mix that all up. It's delicious. It is very delicious. I and love also that. a little shout out to our five sisters vodka. Yes, the one of the sisters, actually several of them own Cole Hans. Yep. Um, but this is their, their vodka. So anyway. that was great. Yeah, great job. All Happy right, you guys in the mood for some some Easter gifts?